Hello and welcome everyone to my fourth quick edit episode. I am back from my two weeks trip to Norway and today I want to show you one of my favorite pictures from that trip. This here is probably one of the most photographed um, locations in Norway. It's called the Trollstigen Road. What I want to do here is combining several images like this one um, which is more brighter than those ones because I want to add um, the lights of moving cars driving up the road. So first I'm going to edit the bright one, uh, therefore I am going to choose the most fitting camera calibration profile. Here I am going to use standard because it looks the most natural. Then I'm going to apply some lens correction and now I can start the basic editing. Now the highlights in the sky are a bit too much. Therefore I'm going to down highlights here and now I can increase the exposure to get more detail in the foreground stuff. Also I want to increase the shadows a little bit. Also I'm going to increase the clarity to get more structure in the mountain area here. The whole image is a bit too blue for my taste so I'm going to change the white balance and I'm also going to add a little bit of vibrance and maybe make it a bit more darker. I want the image to get a bit more of a sunset look so I am going to change the highlights and the split toning um, setting to a bit more yellowish color. Now I am going to apply a radial filter in the sky because I am not happy with it. I am trying to give it a bit more glow by decreasing the clarity again just a little bit and I also want a bit more saturation in the sky. and I want to adjust the white balance a bit further here. Now I'm going to apply a graduated filter to, to give the rocks a bit more detail on the right side. Therefore I'm going to increase the clarity a bit more here. There's still a bit of a heavy blue tone in the image, so I'm going to um, decrease the saturation here. And also I'm going to increase the color of the clouds. Therefore I'm going to um, grab this little button here, move to the specific color I want to increase the saturation and click and drag the mouse up. Like always I'm going to add a lot of sharpening and I am just masking out the areas I don't need. Therefore I alt click on the masking button and drag it to the right side. White areas get sharpened and the black ones um, aren't affected by the sharpening effect. Now the first image is finished and I can start editing the pictures for the car lights which I will be adding via blending modes in Photoshop. Now the focus when editing those pictures um, lies on the lights of the car so I don't care what is going on in the sky when I'm editing this picture. I want to increase the highlights quite a bit here and also maybe the whites a bit and I'm going to add a lot of clarity here. Also I'm going to down the shadows and I also want to add a bit more vibrance to the lights of the cars. And I'm also going to sharpen those images here. Now I'm going to select all pictures with the lights in it, which I need, and just sync them. So all the pictures come out with the same editing settings. And then I'm going to export them. Now that all images are exported, I can start by placing the first image I edited in Photoshop and just place the other ones above it as layers. Actually I think this one might be a little bit too bright so I'm going to reduce the exposure again. Now I can start blending in the car lights, therefore I'm going to turn the first layer on and change the blending mode to lighten. 
the problem is the sky is now also um, changed to a very bright um, overexposed sky therefore I'm going to apply a layer mask and I'm going to brush out the areas I don't need which is basically everything except the road where the cars are moving and this I'm going to repeat for every single layer you can see here okay and this is the final result with all the images combined using blending modes to give this image a bit of a better look I'm going to use a polarization filter of the color effects pro which is included in the Nick collection and I am just going to pump up the strength here um, if you look in the sky you can see a pretty good change here I also only want to have this um, polarization effect in the sky so I'm going to create a layer mask and just mask out everything except the sky. Therefore I am filling the layer mask by hitting shift F5 with the black color. As you can see the effect is gone now. And I'm choosing a white color in the brush tool and brush over the sky area. Also, I noticed some sensor spots right here, which I'm going to erase now. Therefore, I'm going to choose the spot healing brush tool and just click on the dots, which I want to erase. I also want to add a bit of vignette here, so I'm going to use a Nick Collection effect again on this one. It's called Vignette Lens, which is adding a really nice effect. I just reduce the amount a little bit. It is maybe a bit too strong, so I just down the opacity. Now I want to add a bit of contrast. Um, therefore, I'm going to choose the Pro Contrast filter of the Color Effects Pro plugin. and just add a bit of dynamic contrast and the last filter I'm going to use is the classical soft focus to give the image a bit more of a glow effect Again, I don't want this effect on the whole image, so I'm going to create another layer mask and fill it with a black color. And now I'm going to brush out the bright areas like the sky and the lights of the cars with the white brush tool. Alright, this is the final result. I'm not going to change anything anymore. Um, thank you guys for watching.